Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We've got an urban edge style portrait that I'm working on here and I just wanted to show off in Procreate on the iPad Pro here how we kind of uh, can go about highlighting the hair. So there's a lot of different brushes that I use for this. Um, you can do anything in the chalky category of course and then airbrush as well. So there's artistic stuff here. Anything you want to add here. Airbrush is really good. But I just saw this one in Chalky and it works really, really, uh, really, really well. The Dirty Dry Brush. So if we look at this brush, this is kind of what we get. We can adjust the size as we use it. See how it kind of gives this like powdered look? So that's what we want to use here. So I am on a new layer. And here's what we're working with so far. We've got a nice portrait here. We can go ahead and select all these, throw them in a group, shut that off, and see exactly what we started with. So we've already kind of cleaned it up and done that skin retouching. And then here are the extra edits just to kind of give it some boom. So let's jump into this with uh, this kind of a dirty brush here. So what we do is we just kind of follow along with the highlights that already exist in her hair and just kind of accentuate them just a little bit there. Nothing crazy because the power is gonna come from the blend mode there and that's how we're gonna kind of bring it out. So let's go ahead and look through these. So we can see what the uh, Dark color doesn't do anything because of the background there. What else do we like here? That's not it. Oh, that's fun. So typically soft light overlay are the two that I use. Let's go ahead and do overlay. Let's put this at a 70% opacity. And then we're going to hop over to the adjustments, bring in the Gaussian blur for the entire layer and kick it up a notch. So just as we see it kind of like disappear, boom, right there, about 10%. So if I go back to my layers and click that off, we can see what it's actually done. So that's on, off, on. So that's really nice there. Just a little bit of pop. And if we still felt like it was too much, we can go to, um, let's see, what do we want? 57. Just kind of play with what we really feel. Yep, it was about 57. Awesome. So now we can turn this off. Just see how the hair is just kicked up a whole notch. And there we go. Now we're ready to bring over our watermarks and do that export. We can also come into the main layer here just for the last part here and bring in some color balance on the entire layer. And just kind of after you've made those edits to the hair, kind of play with some of the color balance to see how it's changed just a little bit there. So right now we're messing with the shadows here and we can tap on the highlights. We see how that's kind of brought in just a little bit. Also in the shadows, let's bring in that cyan typical urban edge style there. The highlights, I didn't really love anything that it was doing as far as the yellows. I think we're just going to leave that how it is. And so now we've got everything we did plus that um, uh, actual kind of color toning. Every so often we'll pop in on the right layer here with the curves. And you can do the blue and bring it up that way, but we already did color balance and I really like where it's at. So the last thing I wanna do is kind of mess with the gamma here. I'm just gonna bring up our highlights just a little bit. We're just kind of giving it just a pinch here. Bring back the mid, tap right there as well, and then bring up those shadows. See how that looks, find a nice sweet spot. Yeah, not too much there. That looks really, really good. We'll pop everything else. And then the last thing, uh, get some watermarks and then export. All right, guys, thanks for watching this Urban Edge tutorial. We did a little hair retouching and uh, kind of took this portrait up a notch with some artistic stuff here in Procreate. Hope you found this helpful. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.
Baby, I'm a whore.